One of the great moments of movie history was when a dying newspaper tycoon played by Orson Welles whispers the name Rosebud in his dying breath. There's another Rosebud today in an exciting contemporary drama also involving a newspaper. No, it's not a remake of 1941's Citizen Kane. This drama is real life. The newspaper is the Canada Free Press and the damsel in distress is the American Republic. Recently, journalist Doug Hagman received a phone call at 2.30 a.m. from a longtime U.S. government insider codenamed Rosebud, who is currently with the Department of Homeland Security. Rosebud describes an ongoing revolution in the United States, propped up by a three-legged stool. In this scenario, Barack Obama and his unelected czars are engineering economic chaos, chaos through racial division, and chaos through class division, using lessons learned by radicals in 1968 as the template for 2012. A quick example might be the injection of racial overtones into the shooting of Trayvon Martin. Anyway, if Rosebud is correct, that's nothing compared to what's in store. Rioting in New York and other major cities, accompanied by a possible staged event attacking the Obama family to create an atmosphere conducive to more unconstitutional crackdowns. Kids, can you say martial law and indefinitely postponed November elections? Here's the document that may make that possible, or at least easier to execute. An executive order issued March 16th under the innocuous title National Defense Resources and Preparedness. Other groups and individuals speaking out on this include the Western Center for Journalism, WND, formerly known as World Net Daily, and talk show host Michael Savage. Each may see the details slightly differently but they're all looking in the same direction. So, stay tuned for the continuing story of Obamaland. Because unlike Citizen Kane, which only lasts 119 minutes, there's no end in sight for this drama.